the breakthrough experience by dr john demartini this book is absolutely incredible it is based off the course this seminar that john demartini has been doing for what 50 50 years almost <laughs> right it's it's crazy the actual course itself is just mind-blowing he gets really deep into the science the religion the philosophy uh, but then he also breaks it down into extremely practical steps and the best thing about the course i've found is that it's practical it's like okay we're going to do some work get you know silence everyone focus you know fill the thing out and then if you've got a question you go hey mr mr d martini Dr. Martini, can you help me here? And then he'll actually work with you. And it's it's challenging because it's it's overcoming these morals and paradigms that we've put ourselves in a box with for for our entire lives. It's like, no, death isn't actually bad. Grief isn't a sign of love. You are exactly what you perceive in others. There is nothing, either someone you're looking up to or looking down to, someone you like or dislike, there is nothing you can perceive in someone else or something else that is not inside you. And this book gives you the practical steps on how to actually be aware of that, how to transcend your consciousness so that your soul can guide you and you can see the beauty and the magnificence of the world. So I'm going to go into the whiteboard. For people listening, use your imagination. So this is like, I, I did a video on this the other day. So imagine we have a crucifix. So it's like a T or a tree, the Buddhist tree of life. Uh, well, I guess it's more of a cross, really. Let's do a cross. Okay, so at the top, we have your consciousness. Let's just say conscious. At the bottom, you are unconscious. There we go. On the left, you have positive. On the right, you have negative. So this, the positive is... Pride, infatuations. So proud of yourself, infatuated with someone else. And then negative is shame for yourself or resentment, resentment towards others. So let's say, and then we also have a triangle here, sort of in the background where it's almost like a pyramid where at the top is your conscious and unconscious at the top is is the peak of your current level of consciousness conscious understanding and awareness at the very bottom as the triangle and the pyramid spreads out you're you're unconscious of more than you are conscious okay so at the top you have the peak of your consciousness as we go down lower and lower into your subconscious, through your unconscious, there is much more information stored in your subconscious and your unconscious than you are conscious of. Would you agree? So at the very base of the pyramid of the triangle is a circle. That circle represents that nothing is missing. At the very peak of your consciousness, there is everything exists. You have access to all of your unconscious and subconscious memories and perceptions. So this is your current level. Let's just call this like, uh, you know, level five. We're at level five here, right? Whoops. Now, in order to grow or uh, let's say have more meaning and fulfillment and purpose, love, presence, gratitude, inspiration, enthusiasm, in order to, you know, achieve your goals and move um, I guess 
what most people would call be more successful or be happier, which I don't really like those terms. I find it's like the clearer vision you have, the stronger your mission, all these types of things. So just think the, the greater level of consciousness is the greater level that you rise to. And there is an infinite amount of levels. And if you're not growing, if you're not moving up in consciousness, you're moving down in consciousness, okay? Nothing in nature, things grow or they die. So just keep that in mind. If you stop growing, if you stop being inspired, if you stop being present and loving what you do, then you'll start self-sabotaging which is really a mechanism of the universe designed to help you understand that you're not fulfilling your current purpose. Anything that isn't fulfilling its purpose is going to succumb to the law of entropy. Entropy states that things move from order to disorder, regardless of time and space. What are you doing there, Prince? Have a look. Prince, what are you doing? You want to join in the video? Okay, so how do we grow? The first step, and I'm taking this from the breakthrough experience from the book, is every individual has both sides. We are both kind and cruel, nice and mean, an angel and a devil, giving and receiving, a fucking wanker and a, a beautiful, <laughs> fat and skinny, Rich and poor, we have everything. If you're rich in your bank account, you might be poor in your spiritual understanding. If you're rich in your your relationships, you might be poor in your health. So everything is counterbalanced. Everything has its equal and exact opposite. Uh, I'd go more into detail in my Kabbalion video and stay tuned. I'll, I will talk about that much more. So let's just understand that every individual has both sides. Uh, just like a magnet, just like the world has a North Pole and a South Pole. We have North, East, South and West. We have, you know, we have day and night. We have hot and cold. It, everything is uh, both sides, okay? So if you have a pride or an infatuation, it means that you are positive of the uh, the... You are conscious of the positives, right? Because you're like, wow, they're so amazing and sexy and smart and beautiful. And it may, if you have a pride or an infatuation, you're, you're conscious of the positives and then you're unconscious of the negatives. So see how there's a line here that's lopsided. It's a seesaw that's weighing down, weighing you down on one side if you're weighed down on one side you're not going to move in a straight line you're not going to see clearly you feel heavy you get tired you feel lazy you quote unquote self-sabotage so until you become and the demartini method goes through an exact process and i'm doing my prince is chewing in my foam roller hey prince The Demartini method gives you an exact process on how to bring your unconscious conscious. Now, so you would ask yourself, okay, what's the disadvantage of this person being beautiful? Oh, they get lots of attention. Oh, they have takes a lot of work to maintain. Oh, they might be a little bit insecure. And then you start realize, and then you start feeling a bit of resentment, just a little bit, not too much. You're like, wow, that's it's like a bit of a burden you're like oh my god that's that's i'm kind of sorry for you wow that sucks being so beautiful isn't that funny you go up to someone who's like super hot and you go wow i'm so sorry for everything you have to deal with that's just fuck that but no one does that because we're more we've been brought up to believe that if you have a sort of physical attractiveness and beauty to you then it's more positive than negative no 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 it's just as positive as it is negative, same with having lots of money, same with being spiritually connected, same with having a great social cause, right? So everything has positives and negatives. So we bring the unconscious, see down here, we have unconscious. 
So we're, if we're in this quadrant, it means we're unconscious of the negative. So we bring the negative unconscious, the things, the negative things that we're unconscious of, we bring them into consciousness. Now, when we have an equal balance of positives and negatives in the conscious zone, well, something really crazy happens when you're, when you have an ex equal and exact opposite conscious positives and conscious neg negatives, you, the, the, everything, all your perceptions kind of dissolve and you're present in time and space where you're neither conscious or unconscious, you've integrated all of your being into one moment. So instead of being sort of up here, right? I'm drawing a line above, like way above conscious. Like, yeah, I'm. they're so, that's, you, you get this sometimes. If the ratio isn't one-to-one -one and you go, yeah, they're really beautiful. I know there's disadvantages to it. I'm conscious of that. But if it's not completely one-to-one, -one, then it's not going to be directly centered in the horizontal line between conscious and unconscious it would be out of balance. So remember before how I was saying, okay, how do we grow? And how do we get from level five to level six and onwards and upwards? When we get that moment and we go, wow, it's just as good as it is bad, just as positive, just as negative, holy shit. That is the moment where we transcend. And in that exact moment, right after it, we now become unconscious of more information. Our conscious mind grows. And as our conscious mind grows, we have the equal and exact opposite growth in our unconscious. So now we move to an even bigger cone, a bigger pyramid, a bigger amount of positives and negatives because the universe is like, okay, you can handle the you can handle seeing beauty in other people you can handle it you can handle seeing yourself as beautiful okay let's let's move you up the ranks now you've you've got a promotion like imagine you walk into a uh, your job and the very first day you get a promotion you haven't earned it anything you haven't earned will be taken away from you until you have that level of knowledge and understanding and gratitude for it so that is my short little lesson on how to grow the, how to break through and grow and have a revolutionary personal transformation within yourself, breakthrough experience. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the course. Happy to help you with the Demartini method. Subscribe.